Hello and good morning listeners welcome back to Almus Market Mornings your daily dose of global financial updates I'm your host Swaraj Rajgopal and we have got you covered on everything from currency shifts to pivotal central bank decisions and important speeches plus you'll gain expert analysis on macroeconomic data that's shaping the market narrative right now Join us for this episode and navigate the markets with confidence While the world's focus is shifting to the battle between former US President Trump and Vice President Harris, another significant political event is brewing in Japan. The current coalition government faces potential threats in the upcoming general elections this Sunday, and markets are keenly observing how this would impact the monetary policy. On the other side, the Beige Book survey was released yesterday showing that economic activity has been flat in most parts of the US since early September. Uh, the report suggests the US economy continues to slow despite upside surprises in employment consumer prices and retail sales in September fed officials have cited such anecdotes as the reasons to continue cutting rates even amid the recent positive data good morning jk uh, we have been observing rising dollar strength and us yields uh, what do you think could cause a shift in this narrative uh, good morning uh, saraj uh, yeah i think dollar has been quite strong in the whole of uh, october and um, there were several, several reasons for this uh, one is uh, uh, of course uh, the uh, us economy which was uh, looking like uh, slipping into a sharp slowdown has uh, seen the data not uh, so much in confirmation and uh, many of the data points have been much better than expected including uh, employment uh, numbers uh, not just that uh, you know the inflation has remained uh, uh, somewhat sticky about 3% and uh, the so called trump trade uh, as the trump starts to get a lead over harris in the polls uh, has led to sell off in bonds and uh, rising yields and that has uh, been one of the major support uh, for the dollar apart from the risk aversion that the market is uh, uh, getting into uh, as we uh, as we are in the last quarter of the year uh, profit taking ensues in the stock market also uh, but at the same time you see the situation in other economies have been quite different uh, the growth has not been uh, you know impressive uh, barring uk where it is been much better uh, yesterday bank of canada cut their rate by another half and hefty measure you know and they said expect to cut policy rate further and decision will be taken one meeting at a time Uh, so another dovish cut uh, by bank of canada then in europe there is now a 44% probability of a 50 basis point uh, in december uh, and the ecb officials have really not pushed back upon such a pricing and even some of the euro officials are uh, not averse to taking the rate lower than the neutral rate so that's the state of the eurozone economy uh, where the yields are falling rates are going to be cut and the growth has not shown any signs of a rebound a meaningful rebound uh, so far uh, on the uh, you know japan you know the some time back uh, there was an expectation there will be a move in october but that almost uh, ruled up now particularly as the ruling party also is facing possible defeat in the upcoming election there will be a lot of uncertainty about uh, the uh, you know monetary policy going forward the earliest rate hike that we will see from japan will be in december uh, bank of england's bailey yesterday said that the disinflation has been much uh, faster than what we thought and now uh, in november cut followed by december cut in uk is almost uh, certain china as we know has been easing its policy massively so all this together or uh, it is not surprising that the dollar has been uh, quite strong uh, in fact it is surprising that is still holding uh, well under the multi month range between uh, 106 uh, 101 or 100 so uh, but uh, as we move <laughs> towards the election uh, i think uh, more short covering in the dollar 
is uh, not ruled out although we just uh, are standing at uh, an important level uh, for the dollar uh, and you know after having fallen uh, almost uh, 16 sessions out of the last 18 uh, there can be some short rebound that can be <clears throat> supporting uh, you know uh, supporting the eurozone euro as well as uh, uh, the yen uh, currencies uh, on the risk side uh, yields uh, continue to rise uh, today there was a new high that was seen in uh, the 10 year yield going to 4.26 since then it has uh, eased off so we have seen a rise of 66 basis points in the yield and now uh, the question mark about the december cut from uh, Fed remains, although probabilities are still above 50%, but I think uh, upcoming data will be uh, very important uh, uh, as far as the rate move is uh, uh, concerned. On the rupee, uh, you know, it's <clears throat> uh, somewhat it has avoided uh, major volatility uh, because of the way it has been managed uh, for most of the year. Your rupee has been kept towards the weaker end of its uh, range, uh, closer to its uh, weakest levels. And um, uh, of course, uh, any attempt by the market to uh, weaken it further has been thwarted by uh, intervention. Uh, but uh, keeping it this way has helped it to avert uh, any you know major uh, weakness, uh, even when there has been overall dollar strength. As we have seen, even the outflows of over... 10 billion in the last uh, uh, you know 20 days uh, has been met uh, with a very uh, relative calmness and uh, really there is no uh, you know uh, jitters as far as the rupee uh, movement is concerned in fact uh, as we have moved towards uh, the us elections there has been an increase in the implied volatility for various currency pair hedging uh, but uh, in terms of rupee options, I think the uh, volts have been much, much uh, contained. And that's a clear indication that the market does not expect too much of volatility, volatility in the rupee. Of course, any large size to move in the dollar index uh, or, uh, you know, a big uh, outflow or inflow in the rupee uh, can uh, see it, uh, you know, uh, move uh, from these levels. But uh, uh, I think any large moves or any panic move from the rupee uh, should be ruled out, at least as far as uh, the current policy of the central bank is concerned. Uh, yes, we are into uh, a day when there is some more uh, data to digest because we have had a very quiet uh, being uh, uh, to the week. Uh, we will get the flash PMIs from various regions and uh, people will be looking at uh, the Eurozone, uh, the UK, as well as how the US uh, PMIs are performing both on the services and the manufacturing. Uh, uh, yes, we are just getting much, much closer to the election time and uh, that, that will be the main factor as far as the market is concerned. Thank you. Thank you, JK. And uh, just a couple of points highlighting which JK mentioned about dollar strength is uh, it's a mix of factors uh, first of course the us economy itself is uh, turning out to be more resilient than previously thought inflation has remained sticky about three percent and the trump trade has also contributed to sell off in the bonds keeping yields higher uh, and there has been a stark contrast in situations in other economies uh, except for the uk as of now uh, bank of canada, canada cutting rates by uh, 50 basis points a 50 basis point cut being priced uh, for the december meeting by the ecb uh, in japan there was expectation of a rate hike in october which has been ruled out now and the earliest hike is being priced in december uh, and even the uk central bank chief advocating for a uh, november and december rate cuts so all of these factors have contributed to dollar strength and yields being elevated uh, today of course there's flash pmis from various countries to look forward to uh, and for rupee, it has avoided any major volatility being uh, kept at the weaker end of the range. Uh, despite outflows of over $10 billion, we are not, uh, they have been met with relative calm and uh, without any major jitters. Uh, that's it from us today. Thanks for listening. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the latest in the financial markets.